<laughs> be able to like, you know, because this is a small town, everybody knows everybody, and you know, the group. People know know us. Um, the word travels quick. Yes, <laughs> in the small town. I mean, but you know. I, I try I try to be the peacekeeper all the time. You know, when I see people like flaunt, flaunting stuff, they're not you know. You do what you do, what, whatever floats your boat. But you know, there's there's people pedestrians walking by. There's people you know walking by. And, you know, just be respectful of the public. You know, and, and that, that's what we do around here. Um, I lived in Astoria for the last like six years. Um, I went away for a little bit, for like three years. Um, I did forestry work and bought fires and stuff. Down in Tillamook, and uh, yeah. <laughs> that ended good. Hey, um, I, I left, but I left from there and got a job at Pizza Hut in Seaside. Got a place in the car and I ended up um, driving over to my brother's, stayed with my brother for a little bit. My job. Uh, I, I gotta start over over here. I'm coming back from Portland. Um, I, I tried out being homeless for like a few months. I've been, this is thir my third Going on four months now. Like, it's pretty rough, and I feel for people. Like I really slept outside, like many times. Like the other night, I slept down at Smith Point. And all I had was a camo, like just a windbreaker camo, camo blanket that that keeps the moisture and the wind wind out of you, and like a bunch of layers of clothes. <laughs> it did me for the night, and that was the nights that it was snowing even. So. <laughs> no, I, I did it before when I was 19, but I had I had a lot of I knew a lot of that was out in Portland. I knew a lot of people, and I was younger than I mean, I mean when you're that age, a lot of people look out for you more. But when I'm 31, so I mean, it's kind of different. Yeah, it's different now. I mean, yeah. What did what did friends do for you? I mean. <laughs> If you know, really know how to speak to the people, like, I mean, the, and and know, know people, like, the, certain circles, and, you know, not judge anybody, and uh, you, you'll be alright making it around, I mean, you know, with me, with me, it's, I'm always trying, I'm always putting other, like, everybody, like, other people around me in line, like, I, <laughs> Keeping the peace, like, yeah. How do you how do you assume that role? I don't know. Even with my family, that you bring up family, even with my family, with my my mom and my sister and my, my oh even right now, like my sister and my aunt and my mom, are just like my my mom and my aunt. My sister are getting along. They weren't getting along before until something happened to me, of course. And then, and then I they they got together I mean, to help me out at one point. But they're more concerned about you. My sister still. <laughs> like even I have fam My family has family problems. Like everybody in the street has family problems. I mean. Huh? <laughs> Um, in my youth, that well, like I said, when when I was 19, I mean that that was a turning point. Um, I, I went to Timberlake Job Corps. Then one day, it, 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 yeah, it changed my life. I I was able to get a welding job at Airport Crab Pot Company, and I weld the crab pot for commercial crab pot farms. I want to actually write a book. <laughs> you want to tell me about it? I've, I've, I've actually header. wrote. The oh, header header. Header. I've got the notebook. Other than that, I ain't been there. It's a fictional <laughs> story. I have all the blueprints and everything. Really? Yeah. You're yeah. disciplined. <laughs> yep, I did it. I did it in the midst of everything, and I still have them. I lost. 
I went. I've been to Portland and everything, and I I got my hand is broken. I have a dis. I'm walking around with a dislocated knee, and. Or do you I, have to help I lost two two cell phones <laughs> while they're in my bag down there, and then <laughs> my car's stuck over in Lincoln County. Yeah, so um, <laughs> Portland and and here, my yeah. I mean, I have fam a lot of family friends that I made personally like, around here. Love. People who look out for each other with thick and thin, like, call, call, like, if a family member's doing good, I mean, and you could, we call, call each other, like, if we need a help, like, we're struggling out here, I mean, we, I mean, we help each other out, but, I mean, you know, even, even if we're not doing good, we do what we can to help each other out, like, and, you know, just love unconditionally, like, I mean, we we have we have our disagreements and whatever sometimes, but you know, I don't know, no, no, no. Not really. I got I got my I got my immediate family. I got I got my two sisters, my brother, and my mom. That's my immediate family. He's in Kansas. Oh, oh, my, my dad. He, his story. You want to? He, well, I could tell you what he did. He he was uh, he was electrical engineer for American Airlines, and he uh, built computer chips at SCH America. And now he's in Kansas um, working on uh, airplanes and flying airplanes. <laughs> How much you talk to him? It's a mental, but. <laughs> but he taught me a lot. Um, taught me about a lot with the music that I make like too. That's something you're interested in. <laughs> music stories. I'm very creative person. You're a very creative person. <laughs> you're very creative person. <laughs> Any kind. Like my favorite music is dubstep, though. Like the new stuff that they're. Yeah, I kind of like that stuff. Like. Uh, I like to a I'm a millennial, so <laughs> I was born in '87. So, uh -huh. what would it take to get started on that again? Just to get back on my feet, like get my car back, get get a place to stay again, and a job. How close are you? Um, I'm looking for a job right now. <laughs> I have place a place to stay once, once in a while. Uh -huh. You still have to build that murder trial, oh. too, huh? It'll be a while. Probably, I don't know, maybe a couple like, weeks. He mm -hmm. too far. Um, I don't know, I think... I like to think of myself as a superhero, too. That's why I got this. Like, too, like, it keeps my, my mouth as well. Mouth and nose one, but, like, Brad, you that I'll, I'll do parkour on the buildings. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, dude. <laughs> it goes along with my story, actually. Really? Yeah. Are you the subject of your story? Well, I symbolically write my story. Uh, kind of, it's, it has a little bit of my dreams in it. It has a little bit of experiences that I've experienced in real life. And it has a little bit of my imagination that I put together. All. And you can say there's a lot of symbolic meaning in it. So. <laughs> well, kind of. I mean, not you heard that communicate, no. but like, I mean, yeah, I mean. I do. If I mean dance is, a, a, if you know how to dance, that's that's like a community kind of body language, <laughs> just naturally. Yeah, you got that talent. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it since I was 17, 16, 17, what, 14. I started when I was 14. Was, <laughs> one guy was like, "Man, I know you got it in you, man. Just pull it out and just do it." <laughs> and then, um, yeah, one, because I'm getting fucked up tonight. 
this is where you know. I can't. Yeah, I've been doing this shit. The root, the root of my awakening came from this town. Like, I think of this town as a Hollywood town of Oregon. Really, Astoria, Oregon is like the Hollywood town. There's so many like short circuit was. <laughs> on that bridge, the Goonies were was filmed here. Kindergarten Cop was filmed here, and there is another new one over here at the Victorian House. <laughs> there, there's all kinds of movies that are shot here. Do you ever feel like the clock is running down? No. Oh yeah. Because I, I think there's there's a reward in the end to begin with. You mean know? <laughs> just very spiritual, yeah. Uh, you gotta be, you gotta be strong. I mean, it gets cold out outside, really, really cold. And man, I I really have mercy on everybody. Who, you know, stays out outside in the cold. I mean, I pray for them. I I go to church a lot. I really do pray for them because you know I see. I've really seen some people like in tears, like especially in Portland. There's so many people out there. You know, seriously, from the R I that kid, I could say, like, yeah, I, that's why I'm kind of out here probably right now. And, yeah. <laughs>